Hey guys, new battery day. Today we have a battery from Time USB. I like their little character guy here. It looks kind of cool. He's got some boxing gloves on. <laughs> Let's open it up. Well, let's see what we got in here. Uh, product manual and quick start guide. What kind of features do we have here? Terminal post M8, so 8 millimeter by 16, 12.8 volt battery, charging voltage is 14.4, plus or minus 0.2. It's a 1280 watt battery, 100 amp hour. Uh, some stuff here showing us how to connect. Uh, the battery can be operated at uh, as low as negative four Fahrenheit. It says it's best to store your battery at 50% charge level. Okay, so you can series up to four and parallel up to four. So you can do 48 volt series connection and you can do 400 amp hour uh, parallel connection. Uh, so that would mean that you could also series in parallel uh, up to 16. So you'd have uh, four in series and uh, four banks in parallel. Yes, I don't think it has low temperature disconnect, which is very common on these uh, budget lithium iron phosphate batteries. It says, tear me off. Here are your uh, post bolts. So it comes with two sets of <laughs> the M8 by 16 millimeter bolts. This is kind of becoming a common thing. I'm not sure why they uh, include two sets, but I, I guess it's ha definitely handy to have extras, right? And then your t uh, little bolt plastic covers for added protection against shorts. And then let's get the battery out. And there she is. So this is their 12.8 volt 100 amp hour pro model battery. Um, this company, Time USB, also uh, had a battery, uh, I think they still have it, which was made with, I think it was made with used cells, and it was like a 90 or 95 amp hour, and it was a little bit cheaper. But this one is their uh, brand new cells. Uh, so I guess the pro <laughs> means that this is the, the brand new cells. I do like the graphics. Pretty flashy on the graphics. I do like the color scheme, the blue and the white. Uh, it has the nylon strap handle like so many do. And it comes in the case uh, that looks exactly similar to most of the other batteries. And the little terminal caps, which comes on most other batteries. Uh, I'm curious about the cycle life on this one. What does it say in the manual? Okay, so it doesn't really mention cycle life in the manual or the quick start guide, so I'm gonna have to look that up online. So let's do a quick check of the voltage that it came shipped to us as 13.8. 13.8, so that's good. All right, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna hook this up to a charger charge it all the way up and do a full capacity test. All right guys, so we got uh, the battery hooked up to the Ardroit 50 amp lithium iron phosphate charger. Let's plug it in. All right, we're off and charging. Let's check to see if we're pushing some current in. And indeed we are 49 point, oh, okay, 50, 50 amps. Perfect. So I just looked at their website and they claim that this battery has 4,000 plus cycles at 100% uh, depth of charge or depth of discharge. That's phenomenal. 
we're not going to be able to test that because there's no way I can charge this up and drain it 4,000 times. <laughs> we're just going to have to take their word for it. Uh, also, it has a five-year warranty. I'm just going to let it sit here and do its thing and charge this battery up. And whenever it's done, we'll do a discharge test. All right, guys, the charger turned off. Uh, it's been off for a little bit, and the voltage has settled down to 13.381. And so right now what I want to do is I want to restart the charge, and I want to see what voltage it gets, off, uh, gets up to before it turns off. Uh, sometimes um, with batteries, if they're not very well balanced or they didn't match the cells very closely, uh, one of the cells might uh, charge up higher uh, than the rest of them and then it'll trigger the BMS to shut down early. Uh, sometimes this, this happens you know at 13 you know point8 or whatever. So uh, the manual says that this will charge up uh, this should charge up to 14.4 plus or minus 0.2. So this thing should at least, uh, get to 14.2 uh, as spec in the manual uh, and anywhere from 14.2 to 14.4 and possibly 14.6 so let's turn it on again and see what it fully charges up to okay so the char oh, charger's on Okay, here we go. Good sign, good sign. We're at 14.2, so it's where it sh uh, the manual says it should at least be. Fourteen four. So it looked like we got to fourteen point four five, which is fantastic, and um, so that's a good indication that these cells are nice and balanced and properly matched. Um, sometimes you can tell that later on after you've gone through some discharge and charge cycles, uh, it may later on get more out of balance but as it stands this is uh, a very well balanced battery and it does charge up to the voltage stated in the manual so that's very very well all right so now i'm going to set up the capacity test rig and i'll be back all right guys i've got the shunt set up and we're going to perform the capacity test let's turn on the inverter All right, we are drawing 64 amps, 80, 840 watts. Let's raise it up a little bit. It's 100 amps. Let's do a little bit less. Let's do. Let's go back to. Let's do the 65 amps. Okay, nothing appears to be getting hot. So, yeah, maybe an hour and a half or so. I'll come back when it's done. All right, guys, here we are, and we're down to 2% left on the capacity test. We've pulled 98.46 amp hours, uh, 1,243 watt hours so far. 
so we're down to 11.9 volts so will we make it will we make it to 100 we're down to 1% we're almost there guys uh, battery is not even not even warm it's a very good sign Here we come. There we go. We pulled a full 100 amp hours so far. Still going. We're at 11.7 volts. Uh, will we hit our watt hours? So we should get to uh, 1280 watt hours. We're currently at 1266. 1270. We're at 101 amp hours, 11.5 volts. We're at 102 amp hours, and we have surpassed, uh, we have exceeded our watt hours. So we're at 12.87 so far. Uh, so at this point, the battery is at absolute pass. It's a very good battery. Uh, it's meeting every expectation. We're uh, well beyond our amp hours and watt hours. We're still going. Uh, we might, I feel like we're going to make it to 104 amp hours or close, very close. The inverter thinks it's 10.3 volts over here. So I think at 10 volts, it starts uh, complaining. The shunt still sees us at 10.7 because it's measuring over here. It's not seeing the drop that the inverter is seeing. Oh, there we are. We hit 104 amp hours, 1300 watt hours so far. Um, Probably about the, I'm probably just going to go ahead and shut it down here in just a bit. Uh, I don't want it to drop below 10 volts. But we might make it to 105 amp hours. Oh, I think we are. Wow, guys. 105 amp hours. There we go. Alright. Excellent. Wow. These budget batteries are really becoming very good. Um, you know, this is a this is a great time that we're in, where we can buy this kind of battery for around three hundred dollars. And sure, it doesn't have uh, the low temperature disconnect, but most charge controllers these days have that functionality. Some of them don't, but a, a lot of them do. So. You could set your car charge controller up to just not charge these batteries whenever it's below freezing and uh, you're safe. But uh, yeah, it's just incredible that you can get this kind of quality battery that pulls full capacity and uh, the build quality is just uh, really good for this price for around $300 and, and sometimes you can find them even less you know they'll have like uh cells and whatnot going on so yeah that's just amazing so we ended up at 105.16 amp hours 1318 watt hours uh fantastic all right guys so my final impressions of this battery is it's very good for a budget battery it does exactly what it says it's going to do it seems very well built, very well balanced, and high quality. Anyways, I'd like to thank Times US or Time USB for sending us this sample for review. If you decide that you would like to purchase this battery, I'll put links to their website directly. And if you use my discount code BMC, you'll save 4% on any of their batteries. 
Uh, you can also buy these from Amazon. I'll put a, a, a link in the description to the Amazon store to where you can buy these. But uh, that's going to be it for this video. I'll catch you guys in the next one.